Good morning. Except for I'm not showing it on here, Krista. It's not showing up online. There it is. All right. So you see me playing with my computer this morning. Good morning. And welcome to Unity of Louisville, where our mission is to transform ourselves and the world through love. My name is Reverend Valerie Mansfield, and I am ecstatic to be here with you this morning. So let us open in prayer. We just begin to center into that space, connecting with the divine, allowing the energy to flow in and through our being and rippling softly into the world. So we bring those thoughts to mind of love, of compassion, of peace throughout this service and throughout our day. Our thoughts are prayers and we are always praying. And so it is. Amen. Well, I want to take a moment just to thank you for joining us this morning or this evening or this afternoon or tomorrow, whenever it is that you decide to watch or participate in this service. And know that if you're here for the first time, we love you, we bless you, we behold the Christ as you. And whatever resonates within you, just take it with you. And if something doesn't, let it go. And just be at peace in what is. If you're one of our regular members, we love you. We miss you. Some of you, I see your beautiful faces. If you haven't sent your picture in yet, go ahead and email it to me. And we'll get them printed out and placed in your space in this sanctuary. Oh. My email is Valerie M at Unity of org, or you can go to our website and find it there, Unity of org. So we have some um, a lot going on. Just so you know, today's Sunday service at East, the outdoor service, is canceled. The city, the mayor yesterday ask that no groups meet right now because we are in a red zone. And so Unity of Louisville's and Unity of East Louisville's boards both decided at the beginning of this pandemic that we would follow the guidelines of our local, state, and national governments. So we have canceled the service for the outdoor service for today. And we'll let you know what's going on in the upcoming weeks. On this week, we have a opportunity for a seven day gratitude challenge. So if you're interested in joining this, you can go and register on our website, unityoflouisville.org. There's posts on Facebook, there's information on our website, and you can just click the link to register and only those that are registered will receive the information about the gratitude challenge. So it's going to be seven days of fun processing and experiencing gratitude in different ways. And midweek, I'm going to do a little gathering webinar where we can discuss and experience gratitude together. So stay tuned and join us for the gratitude challenge. We're trying to find different ways to connect. So if you have an idea of what we can do to connect with our community, or if you would like to create and manifest that, let me know and I will assist you. So yesterday I was part of a wooden barn quilt gathering of folks from Unity. Warren Stone, who many of you know, our usher, 
is the head of that project. And we had a great time. And we painted our shapes for the wooden quilt, which will be placed at Unity of Louisville. So it was a lot of fun, and it was good to see people that I hadn't seen. So there are all kinds of ways that we can connect. So be open and receptive to that, and know that I am in at this with you and willing to support you however we can. We have different opportunities that we can connect with each other. So if you're missing a specific group, class, something, let me know and we'll figure out a way for you guys to connect. So now as we take this opportunity to come together in prayer and pray over our prayer request and with our prayer request in mind. So you can complete a prayer request at unityoflouisville.org, our sister community, unityofeastlouisville.org. Or right now you can say your prayer request aloud, type it into the chat. Whether you're praying for yourself, family members, friends, the situation really isn't important. What is important is that we all open our hearts and send the love and know the truth for each soul. That we are whole and healthy in all that we are in our mind, body, and spirit. We live an abundant world of life with love and compassion. And we share those gifts with others as we hold them in our hearts right now. And we say thank you, Spirit, for each of us and for all of man humankind as we journey together and knowing that love is and respond to that love with the truth for our being for others, and for the world. Now I'll do the daily word reading, and then we'll have a moment of silence as we send those blessings out into the world, knowing our thoughts. Raise us to that higher consciousness, that higher power, where we share that love and light in, with the world, living in that state of bliss and oneness, all connected. Today's daily word is kindness. The affirmation is, I flow with divine love as I give and receive kindness. Let's say that together. I flow with divine love as I give and receive kindness. One more time. I flow with divine love as I give and receive kindness. The word kindness triggers feelings of warmth, connection, and love in my heart. I smile as I recap ways that friends, family members, and others have shown me kindness. I feel again the gratitude and blessing I experienced in those moments. Gratitude, love, and a beautiful awareness of connection fill my heart and mind 
in a remarkably similar way when I remember kindness I have shared. The moment of electrons through a wire, the movement of electrons through a wire creates a current, a flow. As kindness moves from person to person, it creates a flow of divine love. By both giving and receiving, these are essential to this current of love. So I look for opportunities to share acts of kindness. I welcome with gratitude, a grateful heart, the kindness of, that others share with me. From Malachi 6.8, what does the Lord require of you but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God? So today's daily word is kindness. I flow with the divine love as I give and receive kindness. And so it is. Now we move into that time of sharing that kindness with each other. And now as we begin to go within to that deeper connection, we know that it is not I but the Christ within that does the work. And we allow that work to flow in and through us and out into the world as love. For everything there is a season, and this is the season of gratitude. With the spirit of love and appreciation, we join our hearts in prayer. We give thanks that God is with us through every season of our lives. And now we take this time to center ourselves to breathe in the spirit and to be conscious of the presence within us. It is this consciousness that we allow the divine to work in and through us. As we affirm, peace is my breath and serenity is the beat of my heart. Peace is my breath and serenity is the beat of my heart.
relaxing my body and clearing my mind, I focus on my breath. I become aware of the rhythm of my heart. I am united with the one great heart that beats for all. One with spirit, I let all concerns fall away and simply be, knowing that peace is my breath and serenity is the beat of my heart. I am peace as I enter into the stillness of prayer. My inner wisdom guides me on my path to good. My inner wisdom guides me on my path to good. In this peacefulness, I turn my thoughts to divine light. I become aware of the light that fills my being. I give thanks for the light that dispels darkness that shines on my path and shows me the way to my good. My inner wisdom guides me on my path to good. I turn with my inner wisdom. I tune in with my, winner is my inner wisdom, and I return to the stillness of prayer in the stillness. Mighty currents of God's healing love flows through me now. Mighty currents of God's healing love flows through me now. Turning my thoughts to divine love, I breathe in peace. I let love and peace flow through me nourishing my body cell by cell. I am renewed and revitalized by the source of love and life within, giving thanks for healing and wholeness. I pray in the stillness.
with a grateful heart, I open to divine supply. With a grateful heart, I open to divine supply. A spirit of gratitude flows through me, knowing the goodness of my God is my inheritance. I give freely and I receive abundantly. I open my mind to prospering ideas and welcome my good. With a grateful heart, I open to the divine supply. Grateful for the blessings received and anticipated, I rest in the stillness of prayer. I behold the Christ in all people and envision peace throughout the world. I behold the Christ in all people and envision peace throughout the world. I acknowledge and honor the Christ, the Christ within, the divine essence within all, With this sense of reverence for all life, I know that peace is the truth of all beings. I affirm in every heart and see peace radiating from person to person. I behold the Christ in all people and envision peace throughout the world. I take this vision into the stillness of prayer. And as we slowly 
we turn to this time, bringing our thoughts back, allowing the body to move gently, feeling the peace radiating throughout our whole being. We breathe that breath of thanks. Thanks for this quiet time together as a community to reflect and renew. Immersed in the presence of peaceful light, love, gratitude. We return to the day ready to let the light shine for all the world to see and be guided by the infinite presence of the one power in the world, good. And so it is. Amen. Again, I'd like you to I'd like to thank you for joining us. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and share this service with your family and friends so they have a opportunity to start their day grounded in prayer. And now as we join together to take our offerings into our hearts and our hands and infuse it, bless it with the love, purity, wisdom gratitude and generosity, knowing that God is our source. And as a community, we are an abundant, loving presence for ourselves, for our family, and for our friends. And we affirm together our prosperity proclamation. Divine love through me blesses and multiplies all that I am, all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive. You can go online and make your donations to unityoflouisville.org or unityofeastlouisville.org. You can mail in your donations or you can text them to 844-996-2710. Know that your gifts of love flow in and through this community, continuing to unite us together as one as we hold the world in prayer, knowing we are all whole. We are all living in love, an abundant life, manifesting the good and letting the good flow from our hearts to your hearts and into the world. As we continue on this journey, we have a new way to connect for spiritual direction or healing energy sessions. You can go onto our website and now we have a calendar where you can sign up. And currently I'm doing the spiritual directions and the, myself and a, another healer in the community are doing the healing sessions. I'm working towards gathering others to join us in healing ourselves and healing the community and the world. So if you're interested in spiritual direction or healing energy sessions, just go online to our website and sign up. It's unityofvoival.org. Or you can email me at Valerie M at unityofvoival.org. So now as we just center in that space as we say our prayer for protection, the light of God surrounds us. I am light. The love of God enfolds us. I am love. The power of God protects us. I am power. The presence of God watches over us. I am presence. Wherever we are, God is. I am divine. Namaste. Namaste.